name is Henry Edwards. As many of you have heard, I like to give my presentation today on the impact of technology and my experience. First, I want to start with a little personal background about myself. I'm a graduate of liberal arts and science from Hope Stores Community College. Woo! Yeah, 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 which is yes, located in the Bronx, New York. This is my home. I'm currently a senior at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Yes, majoring in human services and community justice. Also minoring in psychology. Uh, I'm also a first graduate as a black male college student with disabilities that has been impacted by the criminal justice system. Today, however, I want to discuss my own experience of how carefully and strategically utilizing technology has greatly added and improved my academic performance. Here, that's the personal background. And why is this topic so important to me? Students are facing multiple adversities with extreme challenges, including mental health care, finding affordable housing, and finding a job to have some type of quality of life. The importance of utilizing the Office of Accessibility Service and Wellness Center. Without the Wellness Center and technical support for the from the Office of Accessibility Services for students with disabilities, I would not have graduated. The Office of Accessibility Services gave me the tools to reach this point of obtaining a second degree after the devastating loss of losing my partner, which was my mom during the pandemic of 2022. These are some of the tools and resources that were useful for me on campus. We had WhatsApp, a Blackboard Collaborate, and Kurzweil. But there are many more, like Octolet, uh, Brain Dragon, Beacon Duo, and others. Blackboard Collaborate supported me gradually um, addition of advanced features, providing students with extra time to use other tools efficiently. While online classes can cause anxiety among students, Blackboard can offer extra time to explore and utilize essential tools for success to help students feel at ease. Kurzweil allowed a multi multi sensory engagement with text for better comprehension. It was also allowed to build self sufficiency and confidence in meeting academic goals. Finally, enhance, enhance efficiency in completing my assignments and managing some of the content. In addition, WhatsApp, uh, it helped keep the communication flowing with my classmates during the remote learning. Uh, it enabled audio, video, and text interactions for easy idea exchanges and simplified sharing resources and coordinating group projects, which was very important. Um, technology has greatly enhanced my academic journey by adding communication with my classmates, balancing work and study, assessing resources, and presenting work professionally and promptly. This technology supports has improved my grades and prepared me for future workplace success. I encourage other students to leverage technology for their academic and extracurricular goals to achieve more efficiently. This is a need for higher education leaders to invest in technology that supports learning, teamwork, and professional development to create a more engaging and inclusive environment. For students. In addition, according to statistics of 2024, the fall semester of 2023 data recorded 33.8% of the students that are registered in the United States colleges have some type of ailment. 
These are just the numbers from the students who chose to disclose their condition. However, I'm sure that there are many more students who haven't spoke out because of fear. Most times we fear being stereotyped because of the stigma that usually follows once people know you have a disability. The statistic chart provided by Statista is inserted below, and this gives the specific data for each of this target population. We can see that it focused on seven main groups, including ADHD, blindness, low vision, and the deaf, hearing impaired. We learned that ADHD had the highest percentage and speech or language disorder had the least. This is uh, the, the graph, the, the graph of the data. Uh, as we see, it starts with ADHD. Then we have, oh, what's that? which was first at 38.3. Then we had the uh, learning disability at 4.7. Low, blind, low vision, 4.2. Autistic spectrum, 4%. Deaf and hearing loss at 2.2. Mobility and durability um, deficiency was at 2.2 also. And speech and language finally was uh, In my conclusion, leveraging technology has significantly improved my academic performance, provided essential tools for communication, for communication, resource access, and professional presentation. Technology has enabled self-sufficiency and confidence in managing academic tasks, preparing me for future workplace success. The need for educational leaders and tech giants to invest and, and utilize technology to create a more inclusive and supportive academic environment for students. Thank you for your time. And they're there to engage students that need extra resources. Um, they may not know exactly what tools you need, but by going there, speaking with them, they're able to do an assessment and now with technology increasing, there's so much more out uh, other than just braille boards and hearing aids. Um, they have a lot of tools there. So it's good to first be able to speak for yourself, to go to the office and have your voice heard. Again, I, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of students have fear of going to these offices speaking out. But I think we have to conquer fear first and be able to reach out to the art office and the wellness center to get the help that we need. But we first have to fight through the stereotypes, the stigmas, and have the confidence to move forward and get the help we need.